Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. This is Angular Testing Full Tutorial Series. In this particular series, we are covering Jasmine, Karma, Protractor and Cucumber frameworks. This is the part three of the series and in today's episode, we are going to learn all about running unit test in Angular application. As a developer or a QA, it's important that we make sure our unit tests are passing in every build that we run in every environment, be it dev, QA, prod, stage, or actual release uh, release branch. I've covered multiple Angular tutorial series, uh, starting from Angular 9, full tutorial series, to Angular CRUD, to Angular testing. If you really want to learn and master Angular, these are the series that you should follow up. As part of Angular CRUD series, we have created a shopping cart feature module called products, and that's what we are going to use in this entire testing series for testing and learning purpose. The source code link is in the GitHub, which I have shared in the description box. Please make sure that you download it. And please also refer to episode number one, where I have shown you how to run the sample application in your local. So assuming that you have your application up and running, now let's start today's focus, which is running unit test. So what is a unit test? Unit test is a type of testing where the focus of the test is to test the smallest piece possible of that particular application functionality. For example, if you're writing a component, you will try and test the component. If you're writing a service, you'll test the service methods. Similarly for directives, pipes, modules, etc. Now Angular has support for testing unit tests. Right? So the frameworks like Jasmine and Karma are already built in into Angular. Each of the unit tests will end, end with spec.ts file extension. Let me quickly show you the code. So if you see here, this is a spec.ts file for the product service. Right? So if you see any file that is ending with .spec.ts, that means it is a unit test file. Similarly, you open any component and you would see a spec file for it as well, right? So these are the files that you will work when you are doing unit testing, right? As a QA or as a developer, it's important we get our test correctly and they should pass, right? So we will cover that in the coming episodes of fixing and understanding each of this aspect of the test, what is described statement, what is before each test bed and much, much more in detail. But today's focus is to get our application tested for unit test. So just quick four, four pointers that you should know is in unit tests in Angular, each of the unit test file will have ending with spec.ts, right? That's the extension at the end like this. And then what will happen is once you to run your unit test, you'll use the command ng test, right? So this will first compile your application and then it would open browser to run the tests. If you are running your tests in build pipeline, right? So you won't have a browser necessarily. So those are called headless execution, right? Which means the Chrome, uh, the browsers will not be opened directly but it would assume that it's running in the pipeline and it would execute it accordingly and give you the report, right? So remember the tests are written, are written in Jasmine and are executed using Karma Runner, okay? So let's see that in action now. So to get, uh, to test, start testing, just write the command ng test, ng space test. Now this would run and open up the browser and give you the report. Let's see that in just a bit. In the meanwhile, if you like the video, give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, so since we are running in dev mode, uh, it knows that you know it's in Chrome, so my default browser is Chrome. We can customize the framework and the browsers as well. All right, so this is how you would get a report, uh, which will say that there was total 17 spec files, which is total 17 unit test files. 10 have failed and seven have passed, right? So you can see the pass with the green button, red with the failure, right? Cross mark means it's failed, green dot means it's passed. 
and you hover on it and you can see which has failed which has passed right so just in jasmine report red x mark means test case failed and green dot means it has passed green dot means the test has passed right so you can see the report that has come and you will go around fixing it accordingly we will we will fix all of this in the coming episodes uh, step by step we will learn what is issue what is missing what needs to be passed as dependencies for http routing etc we'll fix them so that's part one of it right so that's part of running the test now there is also configuring part of it like i told you you can also mention which browsers you want you can also pass what is the main starting file of your test the configuration of it you can do all of that right so these are the different configurations that you can pass along with your um, ng test command right alternatively what you can do is you can go to the file which is protractor dot so you can see there would be a karma dot config right so there is this file which is karma dot conf dot js right which is used for configuring parameters in testing right so let me give you a quickly example of it so if you open karma dot conf dot js you'll see that it's running karma chrome launcher right so this is this will by default launch chrome and run it if you want firefox you would choose firefox and then install that particular launcher right and then it's giving karma coverage using istanbul right so that's another thing and you can also pass various configurations like which port it has to run in right so by default the port that runs is 9876 you can alternatively configure it remember whenever you add any browsers that you want to run you will install those browsers like this so i'm installing chrome and firefox so you need to add it into the array list here and make it firefox and similarly you can add ie also right so these are the things that you can configure it in karma.conf.js but remember we will do all of this when we get down to later stages to start with just make sure you understand the basic principles of unit testing get your hands dirty run a ng test report see what it shows in your application and we as we progress in the series we will configure all of this to change and to update for according to our needs in the next i'll cover e2e test i know these are initial stages and we are trying to understand the basic concepts we will jump into writing code very very soon maybe in another three episodes so i'll try and cover things basic first for you so that you don't have um, any any misunderstanding or gap in your learning Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode where we will start covering and working on uh, E2E tests. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.